Hi guys and welcome back. Uh, so I think this is actually the first vlog of 2022 which is super exciting. So just to let you guys in on a little secret, um, just before the New Year's, I think it was a couple of weeks before the New Year's, I had decided in my mind that in 2022 nobody will see me. <laughs> so if you saw on one of my IGTVs, um, I think I did mention that this year is a year of healing etc etc. So in my mind I was like, you know what, if I am going to be going through healing and stuff, I just need to block everything out and just focus on just that um, and yeah man I was just like social media where you guys will not see me and sometimes when I do get the conviction to come off social media um, it's very very strong but I just feel like this time it was quite different so yeah it just didn't look the same I wasn't meant to come off but yeah I was just going off off I was just going off off emotions um so yeah I'm here <laughs> but I feel like this time God has just let me know that I'll be able to balance it it's not gonna be easy but I just have to learn to be able to balance and not completely like just come off the grid and whatever there may be times where I may need to but this time round I don't think that was the instruction but yeah um just looking back on it now it's actually quite funny you should have seen the conversations that i was having with like my friends and father and stuff and it was just like oh, tender <laughs> but um yeah we're here now 2022 super exciting and basically Azariah is growing so so big now um, so he's about to transition into three to six months clothing uh, which is really really exciting oh my little baby is growing so fast nobody tells you how quickly like the newborn stage just goes and everything and it's just like really sad because I'm just watching him get bigger and bigger and bigger and it's like I'm never gonna experience this moment ever again but um, yeah anyways today we'll be going into mamas and papas um, so they've kindly gifted him a shopping experience which I'm I'm really excited about um all my friends will let you know that baby clothes shopping is something that I just really 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 love um I just enjoy it so much I don't think there's actually anything more fun than that um so this is going to be a really good experience for me um so yeah we're gonna get a few bits so we get some new clothes and stuff because his rompers are getting a bit small and then we'll get like some outfits and whatever but we'll also just have a look at other things I think in the shop but I'm not 100% sure yet because obviously every shop is different and the things that you might see online may not be in the shops and whatever so we'll just see have a look around and all of that good stuff um, also so I've done this quiz on Mamas and Papas, um, that's all to do with a stroller, um, because basically, <laughs> so as a family, um, you know, me, Tuzza and Azariah, we do travel a lot, um, so to see like friends and family all just like doing stuff, um, so our buggy at the moment which is the travel system that we have I think you guys already saw it, um, it is quite big and you know when you're traveling with a child, you literally take so much well I personally take so much especially for going away for the weekend like I need his play gym I need this I need that and the car gets full very very quickly and we never actually get the chance to take a buggy out because the buggy is just too big to be traveling around with and obviously um, there isn't a lot of space especially you've got a car seat you've got mom you've got your bags you've got this you've got that um, so I was just looking at some strollers on mamas and papas as well so basically I took this quiz that lets you like have a look at different strollers and stuff like that uh, so when I took the quiz I then came across uh, one of their strollers which is really good um, so this one is really lightweight and what sold it for me was the picture uh, so basically this stroller you can actually um, what's it called like wear it as a backpack that's how light it is so yeah I'll show you guys I'm gonna insert it here but um, it's the quiz that can basically help you to choose a perfect stroller for your lifestyle Okay, so as Raya probably say he's still like a newborn, so we'll click newborn. Next, um, what will you be using the pusher for? So I'll say mostly traveling because we will be traveling quite a lot. Oh gosh. Um, and then whereabouts do you live? Um, so we live in a town. Do we live in a town or a city? I think it's a town. But basically, uh, where we'll be going uh, with Azariah the most is probably his god mum's house. And that's also in London. So I'll put city. And then what do you journey, how do you journey get from A to B? So car. And which looks like, 
and which looks more like your home wow english is not englishing um so we live in a flat um what are you up to so playtime in the park brunching with friends a weekend away a weekend away and then which image catches your eye so i'll probably say this one um how would your friends describe you laid back stylish outgoing eccentric let's go for stylish <laughs> okay okay so got quite a few results but the one i like the most is the aero uh so this one um is very light let me just show you guys what i mean about the backpack so this is it yeah so you see you can hold it as a backpack um, this man is just holding it like that and especially like in London like I told you um, as far as God mummy lives in London so I think this would be quite good um, but yeah so I want to have a look at this uh, buggy when we go into store so what it looks like it looks like there is different like um, bundles so okay for instance let's click on this 5p system so i think it can transition from oops wow yeah so i think that it can transition from like baby like this so i think this is the newborn um bit so i think as can like stay in that until he's like six months and then we can move on to the stroller stroller bit oh Look how easily that fits into the car. That's really good. Um, but yeah, wanna have a look at that stroller when we go into store. got some really cute pieces that I can't wait to show you guys uh, so right now we are just looking at like toys and um, just things uh, like play stuff you know stuff like this like books and stuff for like tummy time like all of this stuff we've already got this though at home but I just need other things like I think this would be really good for him right now um, because he hasn't got anything like this we've been using like a nursing pillow uh, which is fine because he can put his head up but I think this will be a little bit better uh, so we will look into this and this feels like something to do with teething I don't know um, but it's really soft and squidgy I'm um, definitely this mom like <laughs> this is so cute I'd love this for Azariah you know? so at home we actually have um horse riding close by and that's why I like that little horse okay so I need to get some teething stuff um, obviously Azura is three months old now so that means that soon he will be teething I think there's Sophie the giraffe somewhere so we've got this one and we've got this one as well I don't know which one's gonna be better 
um, but I'll probably pick up one of these. actually a sucker for teddies like I could literally have like 10 million teddies for Azariah but I know he doesn't need them but um, I just love them like they're just so cute <laughs> go downstairs now um just to have a chat about the what's it called um the stroller um so the one that i was swaying more towards is the um the aero one uh, which i'll show you guys when i get downstairs but yeah um yeah really excited can't wait to see that um so we'll go and have a look at it now one in so just go all the way around like that. that's really secure yes so perfect for travel so with this version like when it's still like newborn-ish um is it still the same sort of um do you know the folding thing yes. for you to put it on your back yeah okay yes it is um it's just going to be a little bit heavier with the carry cut on the top okay but still easily you can carry it on yeah it sort of a rucksack Okay. So in terms of the fold, uh -huh. what you're going to do is you're going to use this button here at the back. Pop that down and then the hood folds back on itself. Okay. And then just up here at the top, mm -hmm. if you press, twist it forward, mm -hmm. that goes underneath and over. And then That's it. it. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's, nice That's really good. I love that. That is actually really, I can do that myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Yeah, perfect, yeah. So if you take the safety catch up. Oh, nice. Then just pull the hood up and extend there. That's nice. Yeah. Pop it down. So these 
had the, well it's the same baggie, uh, it's just different colours, but uh, it transitions from this into this um, for when he's a little bit older. So this is for zero to six months, um, but yeah basically you saw how it was folded and everything, uh, which is super easy, and even when, when you are um, just pushing it and it's so light, I can't believe really how light it is, like honestly, crazy. So obviously the reason why we would go for the air is because we travel a lot and especially like in London and stuff, uh, this would be super super easy to just like maneuver around and also I'll just show you some pictures of um, how it goes on as a backpack so you can still go on about your day and carry it nicely without having the bulk in this and stuff so yeah, it's like love it. Today's a different day and I've come to you with a haul um, of all the things that we picked up for Azaria. So I think in the previous clips you would have seen um, the stroller and everything. Um, so in store we actually saw a different colour but we're going to be going for the all black one uh, which I will show you guys in a moment as well because we have that here now. So that's really really exciting. But yeah without further ado let's get into the haul. So I got Azaria different things. Um, we've got some clothes, got like blankets and we got a few other things i basically go through everything with you guys today when we were in store we actually saw lots of amazing things and things that really fitted as aesthetics very very well so i was like super excited uh i felt like a kid in a candy store it was really really fun but um yeah so what we'll do is i'll go through all the big stuff first and then um i can then go through like the clothes and everything uh so the first thing that we got was this So yeah, the first thing that we got was this, which is like um, a tummy time pillow. So it's got like interactive things on there. Um, so when he's playing, he can just obviously, you know, find fun things to do. So it's got like a star, it's got a moon, and I think this is even for teething. So I think you can stretch that out for him to like bite on and stuff. And then it's got this little cloud that is like this on this side and then it's like this on this side with some little dingies there and then it also makes a noise and it also has a mirror on there as well so this is really really good so we've already been using this and it's been really helpful like it really helps as well with his tummy time um so we use that um and then we put like objects in front of him for him to be able to like reach out to them and stuff because he's at that age where he's able to hold his head up a lot more steady but that is actually very supportive as well and then i got this nursing pillow um, so this is not for me, it's for Azariah. So he already has one, which is this one here. But as you can see, it's getting a bit flat and stuff now. So usually Azariah just like lays on this, like in the middle. So it's really, really good. And this one, I just thought it's a lot thicker and it looks a lot more like supportive if he's in the middle there. So I just thought this would be really, really good. Um, so I really love this and I can't wait to use it. I haven't used it yet. So I'll just wait to do the haul. Um, but yeah, we'll definitely start using it this week. Um, so this is like a jersey material and I just love this so much it just feels really really comfy so yeah can't wait to use that and then I got him this elephant so before Azariah was born I was so convinced I was gonna do an elephant theme um, for his room and stuff like greys but um, obviously I changed my mind because that's not the colour scheme but this is so cute I'm actually a sucker for teddies like Azariah has so many teddies and this is just so soft like oh, oh my gosh it's amazing absolutely love it and then we got some blankets and stuff so I've already opened this one because um, I needed to use it the other day so this for me material oh, absolutely love it along with teddies 
um, a sucker for blankets as well so he's got lots of blankets but I just couldn't help myself so I got this in like a grey colour and it's also reversible so on the other side it's white and grey and on this side it's grey and white and this is the size of it don't know if you can really see but yeah so I got this in grey and white and I also got it in blue and white so it's white and blue and blue and white guys I can't even describe the material of this but I absolutely just love it um yeah so those are the two blankets and then we also got like lots of rompers and stuff so he's already worn um some other ones but I just basically got like long sleeved ones and also short sleeved well, can you see that yeah so long sleeved ones and like the ones for inside so this one is a five pack and this is three pack so i actually accidentally got the same one twice for for this yeah it's the same one um i was going to pick up a different color but i basically didn't <laughs> um and he also had this other pack which is more like boyish so it's got like cars and stuff like that which is actually really cute so he wears those for like pajamas and they just look absolutely cute because i know before like i was all about beiges you know subtle tones and not too much like tractors and stuff um but yeah so we've got some rompers and stuff because as right obviously at home is mostly wearing rompers um and then obviously when we go out he'll wear like two pieces and more nicer outfits um so moving on to more clothes i got him this really cute cardigan um so it's like a beige color and it's got fleece in the hood and some two little ears which is like really really cute um so with these i feel like this is just very unisex and yeah you can't really go wrong with this it's just something quite plain and simple and then i also got um a white one as well so here's the white version so the buttons on this are a little bit different so it's got two buttons going down and it doesn't have fleece um this is i don't know what material that is maybe cotton but it also does have some little ears at the top as well and this is super cute also feel like this is quite unisex i hope i've got it in the right size yeah three to six months and then we also got this little hat which is just so cute love the brown on this and also love the little ears um so he's already worn this and it's just so so cute and then we've got this which is um like a bath time what is it a hooded towel so I didn't open this but this just looks really soft so this is what it looks like at the front and then it's got like a little tail at the back oh this is really soft really really soft so on the outside it's also got the teddy material like you know like a teddy bear but on the inside it's actually towel material because I was actually wondering would this dry him well enough um, with this material but obviously it's got the towel material on the inside and it's just really soft this is so cute and then it's got like a little heart nose and some ears oh I love this so much and then I got some dungarees so these are just like some footsie ones um, so just plain grey just so cute and then they have like a little pocket at the back as well and then um also got him some like teething stuff so i got this little monkey so it's a matchstick monkey which is this um so when he starts teething he can obviously be biting and chewing on this so this is what it looks like and then it's got like some soft rubber bristles at the back where he can be chewing on and this is what it looks like so it's all silicone so along with the monkey one also got uh sophie i think her name is sophie oh sophie <laughs> it's sophie not sophia uh, so this one is more for like interaction and the noise and stuff but i think because it's like quite rubbery as well i can assume that um he'll probably use this like bite on it um when he's teething as well but i'm not sure that's what it's for uh, let me just have a look baby's first sensory development toy okay so it stimulates each of baby's senses cool. but yeah 
got this Sophie the giraffe and then just moving on to some more clothes and stuff um, I got him two packs of bibs so uh, he is dribbling quite a lot so I got the same pack to be honest um, so three in a pack so he's got six new bibs and then got him some little knitted trousers and they have like some buttons on the side these are so cute and they feel so so nice and then we've got this little two piece um so it's got like some little buttons so it's a top and where is the bottom and here's the bottom so that's really cute and then i have this two piece so it's like a gray striped top um with some gray bottoms so they have like some elephants on there so it's like some footy ones as well so it comes as a two piece yeah i'm just seeing some of the bibs here because i'd opened it um and then i also got some mittens and stuff because it's winter um i think i've got in two packs of mittens i'm not sure um so just some generic white mittens And then I got him some socks. Um, so I think this is three pairs. So he doesn't really wear socks all the time. So I didn't want to get like lots and lots of pairs. But um, yeah, got him three pairs of socks. And then we've got this two piece, which I would have loved for three to six months. But unfortunately, they didn't have it in his size. So it's just like a grey two piece. I got this in six to nine months so yeah it will be quite a while before he can wear this it's got some buttons at the back and then at the front it's got like a little pocket and yeah that's what it looks like this is super super cute and then we've got this two piece as well so a nice blue little two piece i love this blue um it's got a little pocket there and then it's got buttons on each side and these are the bottoms just plain knit with no design so this is really really cute and then got him this as well which is like a little jumper with some sheep on it says welcome to the world so it's got some buttons at the back as well and then he's already worn this um so it's like a two-piece which I just think just looks so pure. So it's like this white little tube piece. It's got some popper buttons on the side. Um, and then the bottoms are also footsies. So this is what they look like. So it's like a little tube piece. And then similar to that, because it's got the same material, is this as well. So it's basically the same thing, but as like a romper. And this one comes with a bib on it. And this is welcome to the world and last but not least is this cute coat oh this is so gorgeous and it's got like a fleecy material on the inside as well so I absolutely love this um, so just got like some pop buttons on the side but yeah that's all that we got for Azariah from Mama's Pass in terms of like toys and like clothes and stuff so yeah I'll also show you guys the buggy as well um so how it works and the things that it basically came with um so we ended up getting the five bundle set um and you see yeah the things that it came with basically so first of all excuse the mess that is in here so yeah this is the stroller so it's very compact as you can see um yeah, pretty cool, I think. Um, because with um, Azariah's other buggy, it just cannot fit in the house, really. Because obviously, we're still living in an apartment, so we don't have like lots of storage. But this alone can just sit in his room because it's really, really compact. Um, so, I'll show you the stuff that it came with first, and then I can open up the buggy and basically show you guys as well. So, in the five bundle set came um, this bag, which is a changing bag. So, this is amazing. So, it's really good quality. Um, I'm just gonna open it and remove this. So 
when you open the front it's got some stuff here for storage so i would assume maybe this is for like mum maybe um to put some cards and things like that um that's what i'm getting or to put whatever can fit in here so it's got lots of little pockets and then you open up here okay so once you've opened up in here we have a nice compact changing mat uh, which i'm just gonna open there's the changing mat and then it's also got this uh which is like an insulator i think that's what you call it but basically to keep your milk warm which is really really cool i uh, love that so that's what it looks like and then in terms of storage in here it's got um i don't know how to show you but yeah it's got here where you can open with like a little popper so you can put some stuff oh gosh you can't even see uh but yeah you can put some stuff in there and you can close that off and then obviously you've got the rest of the bag and it's also got some pockets in here where you can put the nappies i hope you guys can actually see that and then on the inside there's also a zipper where you can put some more stuff in there that obviously needs to be separated from the main part of the bag and then at the back as well we have hmm. So it's a pocket, but this bag also basically transitions into a backpack. So this is it. Let me just close it. This is it as like a shoulder side bag. And then when you open the zip at the back, it's got these clips. like this and then you can basically just put it on your back which i think this is better because especially uh with a baby and stuff you need things to be a lot more balanced like on your body because i feel like with a shoulder bag it's taken over one side but this allows it to be more spread out so the weight of the things in the bag is more spread out so really love that and then i'll see on the side it's got some bits for the bottles, which is amazing. So this is the foot muff. Um, so just to keep baby's feet warm in the stroller. Oh, so I love this. I love the feel of it. Let's just try and open it. So yeah. Here's the foot mark. And it's really soft inside. I don't even know what material that is. I don't know if it's like suede or what, but I'll show you guys. There. Oh, I love that. It feels so nice. I even want to sit in the stroller. Oh, I love it. I love that. And that's what it looks like on the outside. And by the way, I think I already said this, but we went for the all black. And I think all black just looks slick. Like everything is just like all black. You know, I love all black. Um, so yeah, loving that. And then obviously when I was showing you guys um, the screen recording, this is the newborn uh, pack. Obviously as Rai is still laying down at the minute um, because he's not able to sit. Um, so this is what will be used. So this is it here so obviously you just attach it to the stroller and then yeah that's why you'll be sleeping in here like a little newborn so this is what it looks like on the inside it's got a little headrest and it's really really comfy actually and also it's got a buckle in Azariah's other buggy, um, although I know the baby's only laying down like this, uh, he actually doesn't have any straps. So I think it's actually quite good. And yeah, this is it on the inside. I don't know if you can see. But yeah, it's really, really comfortable. Then it's obviously got his hood as well. And that's basically it. And it easily just folds in like that. 
that so this shows you like what it's also gonna be like when it's attached to the buggy I feel like everything is just super compact and like put together it came with like a rain cover because obviously this is needed um yeah so just the generic rain cover and then it also came with this so I'm most excited about this because basically this buggy stroller has a cup holder and you know with as well as buggy now there's no cup holder and i always think if i'm drinking what am i going to do i always have to get clothes drinks to put underneath um what's in what's that thing the storage thing at the bottom of the buggy but this actually has a cup holder so you just clip it like on the side which i'll show you guys in a second so yeah, this is the cup holder. So you just clip it on the side of the buggy and my drinks can now go in here. This is so cool. Quite hard to show you guys that I'm doing it with so limited space, but this is it. And this buggy is literally so light. So this is the stroller version when he's a little bit older, uh, when he's able to sit and stuff like that. So this can also go down for him to lay down as well. So he can relax and stuff. So it's got like a little recliner thing at the back. Like so. And I love this. I just can't believe like how light it is. Crazy. But yeah. So maybe I can just show you guys me putting it down because it was a bit hard to show you putting it up. But um, basically close this. Fold this down, push this back, the, the little hood, and then basically I'm going to take this, fold it over like so, and then just grab this bit, and that's done. That's how easy it is. Yeah, so that's it. So I just need to figure out the, the straps to put it like on your bag and stuff like that, but that's pretty simple basically oh and i forgot to show you the cup holder let me do that now so here's the cup holder and it's basically just got this that you can just put in here and that's it guys so the newborn um pack thingy um is now on so i had to get supposed to help to do because i couldn't figure it out but we've done it now and obviously this is the buggy with the newborn thing so the newborn uh thingy um is definitely a little bit thicker than the stroller version so when he's a little bit older but it's still really compact like near enough the same thing so this holds it together so it fully closes and it's not like open or anything this is the push chair with um the new thingy on it um, but yeah basically we've also then attached the straps on the back which is what you use to basically carry it on your back so you can also adjust it here so for instance I'm really short so these straps might be a little bit too long and you know it needs to feel comfortable on your back and nice and secure so I'm just gonna pull that in And then it's got some shoulder pads as well to just help with comfortability. So there it is. I need to tighten this side a little bit. But yeah, this is actually so light, unbelievable. So I can actually hold Azariah at the same time because this is super light. And for me, somebody without much like core strength, uh, this will be really helpful because <laughs> I cannot. So I can hold Azariah and walk around with the stroller as well. I love this so much. Uh, yeah, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the haul. I hope you enjoyed the push chair as well because this has really been very exciting. Um, it also has a cover where you can just yeah put it in its cover which I'll show you guys now. Uh, so it's this. So it's got um, like a little hole there for where you hold it here. 
So yeah, absolutely love this push chair so much. Um, so when uh, we go out and stuff, I'll show you guys the rest of it on Instagram. Um, so I'll show you what it looks like when the newborn pack thingy is on. And I actually can't wait to use it. I think we'll actually go into London this weekend, so that's gonna be really useful. And I know God Mummy is gonna take us right out, and they're gonna have some time out like at the park and stuff like that uh, for a little walk. So that's really really exciting. But I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Sorry, it was a little bit like flustered at some point uh just yeah there was a lot going on but i hope you enjoyed it um and yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time